Well guys, I really wasn't expecting to film a video today. I was just finishing up a little bit of sharpening for a customer, a couple lasso types, and some packages showed up. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do an unboxing. So you guys know what time it is. Turn down the volume. Here comes a little bit of that music. <laughs> was coming but I wasn't expecting it to show up today so we have a couple packages I have one from one of my subscribers Winston Combretti I have one from Lefty EDC I already know what's in these two but I don't know what's in this one so it's gonna be a surprise for me too this one came from Nick Shabazz and it's something kind of over the top and weird that I wanted to get to see so but before you go any further go check out Lefty EDC and give it a second Nick Shabazz so Guys, go check them out. They're good channels. I'm going to put an extra channel down below for you to check out as well. Something I watch on a regular basis. Uh, I haven't decided what it's going to be yet, but there'll be a link down below. So uh, don't forget to go follow those little app marks, those uh, hyperlinks, because it takes you to other channels that are a lot of fun. So without any further ado, let's turn this around and do a quick unboxing. All right, I got us all set up. So the first one we're going to look at is coming from Lefty EDC. Now this is gonna be a lot of fun. Let's get this open. The only thing I've done so far is just remove labels. Uh, I don't wanna dox lefty. I don't want people getting these address. Same, I did the same thing for Nick and for Winston. So let's get into this. Jeez, he packed this up well. Looks like an MRE case in there. So I, like I said, already know what's in here, but I kinda wanna leave it a surprise for you guys. This knife is very sharp. This is just very, Strong tape, man, Lefty. Kevin, Kevin packed it up well. So let's go ahead and get into this, if we can. Is there a bag inside a bag inside a bag? Hey, we got some Lefty stickers. Cool, definitely gonna put those on the editing computer. So this is not, ooh, I did it again. Sorry about that, guys. This is not, a Monterey Bay knife. This is the, wow, there's a couple things in here. I, he sent a bunch of stuff. So in here is what I was looking for. This is the EMP Nifty. I saw this on, whose channel I see this on first? I saw pictures of it on Metal Complex and I was really, oh man, that is smooth. Uh, okay. Man, top flipper, front flipper. Uh, and you can flip this so many ways. I like the fact that they gave you options. So there you go. This one's cool. I'm imagining that this is going to, this is going to wind up in my pocket pretty soon too. That is, that is a unique looking blade and knife. So there you go. That's the EMP nifty. What's in here. This is, oh crap. This is that Finch, uh, it's that Finch model 1929 that he said he was gonna send. I've never gotten to do a Finch Knives. This is really smooth. It has a look and a feel of a traditional knife, but it's a flipper. It's a really unique blade shape. Nice pocket clip, comfortable in hand. I'm starting to gravitate towards smaller knives. I was actually gonna film that video tomorrow on Sunday, but you know, hey, that's a good looking knife. And finally in the box, I think I know what this is. It's another Finch. This is that Finch Holiday. Both of them, these are nice. I've never gotten to have a Finch on the channel. These are really interesting. I, that is really comfortable. I like that. I like these a lot. Let's see, anything else in there? Nope, that's it. Let's go ahead and pack this up and pull out the next box. Hey guys, this next one's gonna be a fun one. It's in from Nick Shabazz and he had this and showed it to me on my on the podcast we did and I've been trying I've been meaning to ask him about it so I finally got around to asking him a couple days ago and he said yeah I'll send that along this is the CRKT ritual that I shouldn't have to say anything else I suddenly feel the urge to kill a cyclops in case you guys did not grow up when i did you guys remember sinbad the sailor he had a big scimitar at any rate 
This thing is nuts. It is. This thing is. I don't know what else to say. It's just insane. And it's assisted. But the freakish thing about it is this is so comfortable in my hand. This is so over the top and weird. I don't know how I'm going to use it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't know how I'm actually going to review it. But I'm not going to lie to you. I was like, the second I saw it on his channel, I was like, well, I kind of have to see that thing. <laughs> this thing is nuts. Look at it, guys. Watch this. Bang. <laughs> not Neve's knife. So, <laughs> but, I mean, CRKT does okay with some stuff. This doesn't look badly done um this is the first crkt actually to tell you the truth guys this is the first crkt i've seen in a very long time so uh, i don't I, we'll have to see their quality may have improved i will tell you it is relatively thick behind the edge i can tell that already so there you go crkt ritual and i keep hitting the tripod so let's get this next box I reached out to the person that sent this and you said i put a sticker over because you wrote directly on a box and i blacked it out so you guys can see but this came from one of my paying members from winston cabretti let's go ahead and get into this i have not even opened the box yet um let me do this so i don't cut myself This is a really crispy edge on that DC-53 steel that Jared did. Oh, hey, look, snacks. In case you guys don't know, those are those are definitely made out of corn proteins and are they have no food value, but they are not poisonous. Those are not plastic. They're not styrofoam. So let's go ahead, pull this out. He, so this is made in France. Contact... Army of Steel. This is. I've never seen this. Was it Acheron? This is the Acheron Green. I don't see a model on here. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at what's inside this pouch here. Oh, it's a fixed blade. Oh, okay. I thought it was a folder. All right. So, we've got a little Kydex. Get this shit out of the way. We have Tech Lock and a. Nice little fixed blade. That's not bad at all. That thing is sharp. What steel is this in? I don't see a... Let's see here. What steel doesn't say? Editing this, I realize as I'm seeing it, and I haven't looked anything up yet, that's the Bastinelli logo. I don't know how I missed it when I was filming this, but that's a Bastinelli knife. I imagine that this is a collaboration. I'm going to look it up and let you guys know for sure. Uh, but I'm sitting here editing it, and I was like, how did you not see... Bastion's logo. That's a Bastinelli design. So there you go. It's a Bastinelli. Co I'm pretty sure it's a Bastinelli collab. Um, so I'm gonna have to look it up and find out. I'm not even sure what steel it is, but that's a nice little fixed blade. And uh, so this is a gift to the channel. So gifts to me usually stay gifts to the channel since this is absolutely not great for my hand size. It's a nice little knife, but it's not 100% the size of it, this will probably, if I decide I like it, stay. If not, it'll be a giveaway. It is sharp. I'm going to tell you. That is a well-done little knife. I'm going to have to look these up. So it's made by Viper in Italy, but it says France on this. So, yeah. Cool little knife that he sent along as a gift. Now, he is kind of local. Jumping pocket. This is a... This is cool. We'll see how this plays out. Um, you could wear it as a neck knife. It does come with a tech lock. Pretty, pretty cool. So there you go, guys. Let's turn this back around and do some final thoughts. So there you go, guys. A uh, handful of knives that came in from a handful of people. So, you know, there's not much else to say. Thanks to everybody, to, uh, to Lefty, to Winston, to Nick Shabazz. Thanks for sending these things along so I can do some videos on them. Uh, and I want to apologize to you guys. I know there's some echo in the, some of these videos. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know why it's not there all the time. I don't know what's going on with the audio, but I can't figure out how to soundproof this, this area. It's a huge garage, and there's just no real way for me to, to do anything much about it. So uh, that's it, guys. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what's wrong or what you don't like about it. If you want to support the channel, it's as simple as sharing the content with people you think would like it, like I did with Lefty and with Nick, and like I always do with Jared and other channels. Sometimes that's one of the best ways. Like and subscribe and share the channel. Uh, but if you do want to share, uh, support the channel financially, I have a ton of ways you can do it. Down below in the comment section, or in the description below, you'll find a membership tab that gets you in on 
exclusive content, early access to videos, giveaways for the premium of Baseline tier members, and a premium sharpening tutorial series, plus all members get $5 off for sharpening, locks it in at $20 per knife. Doesn't matter the configuration, doesn't matter the steel, $20 per knife. That's $5 off every knife. Uh, I have affiliate links down below. Anything you purchase through the affiliate links, even if it's not the item you clicked on, I still get credit. Amazon pays me. And the final way is I do have a merchandise store down below on Ember Shirt Co. where I've set up a uh, coupon code that saves you 10% on everything on Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, saves you 10%. Guys, that's it. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.